I am back in my 2018 Volkswagen Golf GTI taking it for a spin to demonstrate how the lane assist works also want to demonstrate how the adaptive cr cruise control works we've uh, just had some new laws introduced some new road laws where this is in Melbourne in Victoria uh, that if you're driving caught if you're caught driving 25 kilometers over the limit it's instant three months license suspension um, so which is quite scary especially in 40 zones which I was just at now um, you know if you get if you're caught doing 65 in a school zone sometimes you know on main roads where it's 70 k's an hour and um, you know during the school zones it's uh, school times it's 40 you can lose your license in the blink of an eye really now with this new law so it's to be very diligent with this speed and this is where this sort of car here with the adaptive cruise control for your daily driving um, will really help with the speed he finds as well okay so I'm just about to get onto the freeway I'm just gonna merge so you can see now on the left the way I've got my dash set up on the left where the tachometer is, inside there it's got a picture of a car. Now that's showing me the vehicle in front. So what I'm gonna do, and you can see in the bottom right hand corner as well, the bottom uh, you, where you've got two cars and a big exclamation point in the middle, that's showing that I'm driving too close to a car in front of me. So as soon as you maintain a safe distance, that goes away. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna set my cruise to 100 kilometers an hour okay so I've set my cruise now at a hundred kilometers an hour and you can see the car distance to the on the left circle is showing you that uh, there's safe distance between the car in front of you it's gonna maintain safe distance and it's also now that I, you can see down below where those little icons are next to the cruise and where it's set at 100 kilometers down below you've got the lane assist is now green now that means that like I'm not holding the wheel at the moment it's guiding the car it's going it's following the lane it's it's got a curve right now turning to the right you can probably see that in the camera so it's automatically guiding and turning there um, so now it's just come up with a message saying lane assist please take over the steering so I will do that but what I'm also going to do is show you if you don't hold on to it what actually happens maintaining safe distance in front lane assist warning I think it, it does it for about 20 seconds before that comes up and now if you don't let go it thinks you're asleep if you don't grab the wheel it actually thinks that you might be dozing off so in a minute it's going to do a big braking All right, so a big beep it's telling me to take a, and a break <laughs> there you go so if you don't do that it automatically gives you a jolt god lucky no one was behind me <laughs> Whew. so it definitely will wake you up you can also change the views of the dash so you can customize it the way you want and it's pretty simple it's just on the steering wheel there's these little like pagination buttons and you can just scroll through them uh, shows you the you can go to the navigation where it shows the our, uh, the Volkswagen navigation inside the dash which is cool like I mentioned in my previous video I don't use that nav I use Android Auto just because it's a lot easier for me with my appointments I put them straight into the calendar with the location of my appointment so as soon as I come into this car plug my phone in it boots up Android Auto in the center uh, display of the car and all my appointments come up just tap on the appointment and it takes me straight to where I need to go where if I had if I use the, um, the Volkswagen navigation I'll have to put that address in what it also does which I didn't demo here because I was not in adaptive cruise control but as I've come off the freeway what it does, it actually will stop, come to a complete stop if you've got active cruise on while you're on the freeway. 
So it'll automatically detect in the, the car in front of you and come to a complete stop. And if you leave the cruise on, it's actually gonna then continue and maintain that 100 kilometer or whatever, whatever um, speed limit you've set your cruise on. It'll automatically um, try and increase to that speed again. So if you don't wanna lose your license, make sure if you get off the freeway, change your cruise back to 60 or whatever zone it is, and then it will maintain that, um, that distance as well, that speed. It'll maintain that speed as well. Another cool feature of this car that I really love, and it's funny, when you get used to it, uh, it then when you jump into other cars, it's a bit hard. <laughs> you automatically, I automatically do this until you realize the car rolls. What it is, is a, um, it's auto hold on the park brake. So if you're at, at the traffic lights, like I am right now, uh, the green park brake icon comes up, and that means that you can take your foot off the brake. So it's just th little things like that where it just makes driving easier, a lot less, not that it's strenuous driving an auto, but it just makes things, if, especially if you're in traffic a lot, it makes things a bit easier. Next thing I'm gonna demo is how it does the self parking. It does parallel parking. Every time I do this as well, it freaks me out, I love it. Yeah, I'm just looking for a spot between two cars so I can demonstrate how this auto parallel parking thing works because it took me a bit after I had to look for a video on YouTube to figure out how to do this so I might as well go through it as well it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it once you know what to look for what buttons to press okay so what you do is you drive next to a car just like you're right next to it press that park button and then on the dash you'll see the car pointing to that point and then all you need to do is then just put it in reverse to automatically steer it so all I'm doing is releasing the brake here and it parks it it straightens it up put it in drive accelerate a bit forward straightens it up and then you're in perfect Sorry guys if this is a quick one, I just wanted to show how the parking uh, assistant works, the lane assist and the adaptive cruise. Um, I'm not doing any outside shots of this car because it's absolutely filthy and I don't want to stick the suction caps on outside the car when it's filthy because they fall off. So next, hopefully by next week, next Monday I'll release another video. Um, on a different car, hopefully might get a, my hands on a WRX, I think it's a 2017 model, which would be cool, so yeah, I'll see you next week.